If you want to get rid of that ugly faded clear coat on your older car, you first want to sand it. I first started with 1000 grit sandpaper, but to make the job go faster, I switched to 150 grit. I had some drywall sandpaper just sitting in my garage and it was much faster. This is before painting, sanded it all down. About to use this Duplicolor. It's actually for a Chrysler, but matches pretty close to my paint. And it just... So here we are painting it. All right, so it says 10 minutes between coats. We've got our first coat. About a quarter of the can left going on to the second coat. And that's it for this can. Gotta go to this. All right, we got the 2K clear here. Um, we pop this off, put it on the bottom to activate the hardener, shake it for two minutes, and then we're gonna start spraying the uh, clear. So to blend in where I cut in right here on the edge, uh, I'm just going to feather the clear, just slightly feather it and polish it later and make it blend in more. This is after two coats, clear, still drying. All right guys, so I only had enough clear for two coats, um, so it's not glossy. Also I got some streaks you can see because I sprayed only this way um, to make it look more glossy. Got a can of this, sprayed it on after the 2K clear and that didn't help. So I got another can of clear and I'm gonna put that on here. That'll be the last coat, hopefully it'll be a little glossier see the door here it's just not as glossy look here's how the paint came out you need that third coat of uh, clear to get it that glossy and get rid of the overspray strikes but the car's dirty I haven't washed it but that's what the ring. you'll notice I also painted the bumpers black uh, check out my other video on the Xterra makeover if you want to learn about how I painted these bumpers. I also changed the headlights out. Uh, I talk about that in the video as well to update an early 2000 Frontier or Xterra.